During this period, the external environment was marked by hostility, blockades, and isolation inflicted on China by the imperialist countries. There was also a deterioration in relations with the Soviet Union. The external situation had a major impact on the CPC's assessment of the domestic political landscape and on its decisions regarding the key tasks and policies the party and state should carry out. Mao Zedong, as the leader of a ruling proletarian party, was keenly interested in the real-life problems facing an emerging socialist society. He was extremely concerned that the party and people should consolidate their hard-won rule. He was alert to the danger of capitalism being revived and was constantly looking for new ways to eradicate corruption, privilege, and bureaucratism from within the party and government. However, the ideological and practical errors committed by the leftists finally erupted in the Cultural Revolution. This tumultuous period, which lasted for 10 years, was the most enduring, most far-reaching, and most destructive setback for the party, the country, and every ethnic group in it since 1949. Ultimately, by relying on its inherent strength, the party was able to end the Cultural Revolution. Yet again, history proved the vitality of the CPC and the socialist system and testified to the CPC's ability to rectify its own mistakes. Even though it suffered during the Cultural Revolution, the national economy still made progress. Food production achieved relatively steady growth, and some major successes were recorded in industry, transport, basic construction, and science and technology. The party and people overcame the difficulties and continued to advance Chinese history.